Hey there, this is Kevin. I'm going to be giving you a quick tutorial today on how to take footage from your Gear 360 Samsung camera and move that over to your Mac to be able to edit on. So first off you want to remove the micro SD card and you want to make a folder on your desktop and drag that footage over. So once you've done that you need to go through sort of a process before you can actually start to edit the footage. So what you have to do is you open ClipChamp uh, clipchamp.com, a great website, allows you to compress footage down and you drag one of your clips in there and you download it and you will see that I, I keep it at medium resolution I keep the resolution the same but the size medium you might want to play around with whatever the settings may be but that's what I do um, from there you now can actually start to see your footage but you see uh, it's not exactly 360 yet so you got these two spheres and what you need to do now is basically break up that footage uh, into separate spheres. So I do this in Final Cut, you can also do this in Premiere, it doesn't matter. But what you do is you open a new project in Final Cut or Premiere and you have it be 1920 by 1920 and you drag your footage in there. Now you want to scale your footage up, um, I scale it up 200 so it's twice the size because you got to think you got two spheres you want this to fit only one then you move it over 950 950 and you could do that negative 950 or just regular 950 depending which lens you want to export first doesn't matter which one you do first because you're gonna change that later so I export both and I export the highest resolution after those are exported, I then bring them into AVP. AVP is great software. It's a little expensive. Um, hopefully, now that GoPro's bought it, they'll bring the price down a little bit. Um, you drag each of these clips into your software, and you can do audio sync on them. Sometimes you have to hit audio sync multiple times to make it work. After you've synced them both, you hit apply. Then you go on to the next phase, which is uh, stitching them. Um, I usually use 7mm or 9mm as the lens type. Um, you might get different results uh, if you try this, so, you know, play around with it. And then you hit stitch. Sometimes you might have to jump to different points on the timeline to stitch it properly, but it seems like most of the time I'm able to stitch it. Um, you then adjust it, you move your center, whatever you want people to see first when they put on their, their 360 uh, viewers and then you render it. I render it in 4K cinema because it allows you to have the highest resolution and now that footage is exported you can actually finally start to edit it now in Final Cut or Premiere so thank you very much for watching my tutorial if you like this video please like it and subscribe and check out some of my other 360 videos including uh, upcoming review of this camera uh, thanks again and yeah Please leave a comment if you have any questions. All right. Have a good day.